G'day everyone, my name's Mike, I'm Head of uh, Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences here at uh, La Trobe University on our Bendigo campus. And I just want to talk a little bit about uh, our new Bachelor of Biomedical Science medical program. And um, we'll talk to some of the students involved in that program shortly. But um, this is a, a unique program that's been set up in partnership with the University of Melbourne. And the idea is that uh, it's an end-to-end -end, uh, medical pathway. So students who commence the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical uh, at La Trobe University will do three years of biomedical science and then move directly on to the Doctor of Medicine program at the University of Melbourne on their Shepparton campus. So this genuinely is a, a medical program from start to finish. So if you successfully enter the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical, well then you're actually studying medicine and you will finish uh, in seven years of that program um, being able to practice as a GP. Now of course one of the reasons we've established this program is that uh, there's a great need to have more medical practitioners studying in regional areas. So for this reason we're trying to uh, get students who are passionate about studying and ultimately working in regional areas um, and with the hope that uh, what will happen is they'll stay on in those regional communities uh, as, a, as a GP, as a doctor. So look, we might talk to some of the, the students involved in the, in the program um, and yeah, so we'll come back in, in a couple of minutes and talk about um, the, the program itself. Hi, I'm Elise Roper and I'm the course manager of our Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. Today with me is uh, Joe Kenny, who's in our first year of the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. He's one of our lucky 15 students that we take into the program each year. Uh, we take 15 students across our Bendigo and Aubrey Wodonga campuses into the program. Joe is, um, has, is now a semester into his right. first year of the Bachelor of Biomedical Science and he's going to give us a bit more of an insight into how he got interested in the course, how he found out about the course, and um, how he's finding the course. So, Joe, how are you finding the course? Oh, I'm loving it. So six months in, it's just, yeah, so good. I'm enjoying everything about it, enjoying the learning, enjoying the people you meet, and yeah. Fantastic. And how did you find out about our Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical? Um, I had a interview with you, actually, on just before um, intake, so it was... If you've never had an interview, I recommend it because it's just talking to a professional who knows everything about the course and I've, I'd never had one before and it just it helped so much. It gave me a clear vision of what I wanted to do. Yeah, so Joe came into our Future Student Centre and he'd had a consultation talking about potential study options and he was lucky enough to have a consultation with me <laughs> which um, gave, gave him a good opportunity to hear all about our Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. Um, and then, yeah, we talked about all of the entry requirements. So do you, do you want to give a bit more insight into some of our entry requirements, such as the regional element that we have? Yeah, so it's for rural kids. So you've got to, oh, so you want to grow up rurally and live rurally because the whole idea is to be rurally at the end and practice rurally. Um, I think it's an 80-ATAR. Yes. That's correct. Yep. To get in before you, and then you have a... Um, ADAs are, and then you have a medical interview at the Melbourne University campus in Shepparton, and that's uh, sort of like a, it's called a multiple mini interview, and it's, it's very, um, it's a lot of pressure, but it's good. It's, it's a good um, learning experience, and it just shows that you can communicate and converse, which is really important if you want to become a doctor as well. Yeah, and what, I guess, what are your goals at the end of finishing your degree? Where are you hoping to see yourself? Yeah, well, exactly what the what the, the course is. I just want to be a rural doctor and I want to practice really. I don't ever want to go to the big city. I'm very um, big on the ideas of community and that. And I've always thought, I'm a little bit biased, having grown up rurally, but I've always thought the best people in Australia come from rural areas. And that's awesome. And what is one of your favourite parts about being a part of such a small cohort? Because I guess not many university degrees have a cohort of only 15 students yeah. each year. So what do you, how do you find that and um, what are some of the advantages of that? Oh, 15 is unreal. Like we get so much more one-on-one -on -one time with all the um, professionals at La Trobe, all the lecturers and all the people like you. And then in terms of just like the strong friendships you build with the close 15 people, it's like every, everyone knows each other. You go to some um, universities in Melbourne and you, you maybe only know a handful of people 
but you know every single person in the course and you just build a friendship and you, they help you with studying, you help them, it's unreal. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Joe, um, okay. and good luck with the rest of your studies. You've got only six and a half years left. Yeah, not long. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, we're back again with another student of our Bachelor of Biomedical Science program. Uh, this is Archna Christopher, and she is in her second year of the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. So you're a year and a half in now, technically, at the moment. How are you finding the course so far? Uh, the course has been amazing so far. So from first year, we've had major changes, uh, but we've got to do so many amazing different subjects. Um, one of the things that I love is the diversity of the subjects that we do. Um, from first year onwards, we got such a build up. Um, we got to know all the basics and now we're building further on, which is more exciting because we got to do um, more specific anatomy this year uh, compared to last year. How do you find, I guess, the 15 cohort of the 15 students? How are you finding being part of such a small cohort? One of my favourite parts of the course is that we are such a small cohort. We've got to know each and everyone so well. You get to work so closely with everyone. Um, and you get to learn so much from each other. I think we're all very like like-minded individuals. We've all got the same passion for healthcare, for all medicine. So it's been amazing working with everyone and getting to really know everyone. I think I've made some lifelong friendships from this. That's fantastic. So I guess, how else do you guys interact? Do you, I believe you've got a bit of a social club going on, which is the Labs Club, which yep. is, what does that stand for? Yeah, so it's called the Latrobe Association of Biomedical Science, and we've got Labs, I think it's a very fitting name with the theme of our biomedical society. So yeah, Labs not only allows all the biomeds of different year levels to come together and socialise, um, we also offer academic support, but my favourite part, all the events that we run, there's amazing food and even during like COVID times, we've got online cahoots. We're still all very connected. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Fantastic. So what do you want to do at the end of your seven years of this degree when you finish? So at the end of my seven years, I'm hoping to become a general practitioner, hopefully in Bendigo, because this is where I grew up in. I love this community. Um, this is where I've grown up in, and I really want to work here and give back um, to the area that I've known in. That's fantastic. And then going back to the start a year and a half ago, how did you actually even find out about the course? So a year and a half ago when I started, that was the first year that the course was starting. And uh, there was multiple uh, things I heard on TV that a new course was starting and it was going to be an all rural med pathway um, and it was going to be in Bendigo, which was amazing for me because I'm from here. So I thought, what better than a course that I can stay in my hometown for the first three years? That's awesome. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining us today and good luck with the rest of your studies. Thank you so much. We've talked to a couple of students now who obviously are enjoying the course, which is a, a good thing. Yeah. Um, a couple of questions about how if students are interested in this course, how do they get in it? So what are some of the entry requirements? How do you go about applying for this yeah, course? Yeah, fantastic. So all applications need to come through VTAC or UAC, depending on if you're in uh, Victoria for VTAC or UAC for New South Wales. You do need to complete a rurality form, which you can find on our website, and there's links through our course page. Um, or if you are struggling finding it, you can get in contact with us, book a one-on-one -on -one consultation like Joe did, and you can find out a bit more information from me or Mike directly. Uh, you, so you need to complete your your VTAC or UAC application preferencing the course, preferencing the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. There is two codes in VTAC and UAC, one for Biomed Med in Aubrey and one for Biomed Med in Bendigo. I personally, hot tip, recommend uh, preferencing both of those in your VTAC application if you have space um, because that just gives you another extra opportunity at potentially being selected for the course. Then your rurality form, that needs to complete, be completed by early December. There is a cutoff date on that one. And um, if you are a Year 12 student, I highly, highly recommend you apply through Aspire. This is the first year that this course has been eligible through our Aspire program. And uh, applying through Aspire, we will actually guarantee you a place at the interviews in January. So if you are successful in gaining an interview place as um, through after applying through VTAC or UAC, the interviews are held on the 7th and 8th of January at the University of Melbourne campus in Shepparton. You will need to complete those and then that's when we select our 15 students yeah. after the MMI. So it is a bit of a long process, um, but definitely worth it in the end as you can hear from our students. Yep. 
So with the, uh, this idea of rurality is obviously very important. So what, what is this rural criteria that students need to meet? Yeah, beautiful. So we, we do, we have that element on there. It is a prerequisite for the course. So we require you to have lived at least five years consecutively or 10 years cumulatively in a regional area as classified by the Australian Geographical Remoteness Standard, RA 2 to 5. And you can find out more information about this on our website as well. Cool. So as we said before, really it's a, a three-year program before it's a three years of the biomedical science medical, and then students go into the doctor of medicine. And the other important thing is that, as you've mentioned, that we offer the course on two sites, our two regional, one of two of the regional campuses, all of Trobe. So there's Bendigo, and there's also uh, Albury Wodonga. And we have roughly around about 10 students uh, studying on the uh, Bendigo campus, and five students or so on the Albury Wodonga campus, but that can vary depending on the applications really. Exactly, year on year it does vary. However, our ideal um, from a university is definitely to have a seven and eight split. So that's why my hot tip is recommending that you apply for both codes in VTAC. Now, the other important thing to consider is that uh, ultimately in the Doctor of Medicine program through University of Melbourne, they, there's actually 30 places so 15 of those places are dedicated to La Trobe students, but 15, 15 of those places are open as well. And we know from uh, our partnership with University of Melbourne is that uh, they're going to consider students who have also studied other degree programs through La Trobe. So if you aren't successful at getting into the Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical, in fact, what you could do is also preference either the Bachelor of Biomedical Science by itself or something like even Bachelor of Pharmacy or our Bachelor of Science uh, because uh, University of Melbourne know that you, could, you will be doing a lot of the same subjects in those courses as you would be in Bachelor of Biomedical Science Medical. So that's another preference that you could put in, either the Bachelor of Science, uh, Bachelor of Biomedical Science or Bachelor of Pharmacy. Yeah, that's a great point. And I think the real bonus would take potentially taking the Bachelor of Biomedical Science as your pathway option is the fact that you can copy all the exact same subjects as the Bachelor of Biomedical Science medical students. And you'll still be in the same classes as them as well. Absolutely. So you get to study alongside them, use them as motivation to make sure that you're getting the highest grades you possibly can to put you in a really good position for a postgraduate medical place. And that's the only other thing as well with the uh, requirement for the course, the only stipulation in going from the Latrobe Bachelor of Biomedical Science medical into the Doctor of Medicine is you have to maintain a WAM and that WAM is 70. Yes. So you need an average mark of 70 across your uh, degree program at La Trobe to maintain that position at uh, University of Melbourne. Yeah, and I think the really key point is don't be too scared by the WAM requirement. Um, all of our students so far have done really, really well. Um, and that, that WAM is actually, it sits around about a B. And, it, and as Mike mentioned, it's across your entire degree. So if you're not very strong in one subject and really strong in another, it, it averages out. So um, we definitely are trying to give you the best possible chance we can to secure your place at the University of Melbourne at the end of the day. Mm. And in fact, most of our students have a WAM of around about 85 at yeah. the moment, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all. So I guess that's really all we can, uh, we can say at this stage. If people want more information, of course, they can contact us uh, at the university uh, through future students or ask a question on the, on the website or have a chat to, uh, to various people. Um, and we'd welcome your questions. So uh, please do that. And hopefully we'll see some of you next year. Yeah, hopefully. I think um, one more thing that I just want to make really, really clear is the fact that we don't have any GAMSAT, UCAT or UMAT requirements on our degree as well, which is a really big bonus. But like Mike said, any other questions, please feel free to ask. We're happy to hear from you.